Hello everyone. My name is Chiu Tingting. I'm working for FNST's ADR team um, in China. This is our company. It's beautiful. Okay. Today my topic is how to create a test suite with PYADR for new ADR service. First, I will introduce ADR, ADR's application framework and ADR service. Then, I will introduce ADR's PYADR and how to create a test suite for a new ADR service. At the last, I will introduce how to run the test suite by PYADR and how to debug for the new ADR service. Now, let's see the application framework in ADR. What is the application framework in ADR? Look at this picture. There are four layers in ADR, from top to bottom. It's application. It's application framework, system services, and OS. The application framework is this part provides the components to install and uninstall applications and to run them, and it contains ADR service application framework binder and others maybe you want to know what is the ADR service there are many services so let's see this picture the application access ADR service by works an ADR service provides provide specific verbs for various functions. Verbs are implemented through the API provided by APP framework binder. There are already some services in ADR. For example, ADR service Bluetooth, ADR service HAVC, and other service. On the other hand, you could create your ADR service for necessary. In ADR service, binding in, is important. It defines the corresponding relationship between ADR service and the verbs. Let's look the define of binding. Here and later, I will take ADR service, my service, as an example. It is a demo service. In binding, we could use this way to define the to define your service and a verb like this. First, the service. Here, service name is defined and the verbs is here. Which verbs is used? You can see um, verbs defined. Definition. Ping is the verb name here and then pin simple is the callback function and other settings if you want to create a new service you can refer to the following link or other service Where could we find the test suite of agile service? 
Preverser Agile. Each Agile service has a repository like this. And the test sets are distributed in each repository like this. Test Agile service Bluetooth the test is here and Agile service HAVC test is here. Test sets are distributed in different places. So each test set need to be set separately during testing. Oh, result is unified scheduling is difficult, right? Can it be integrated? It's a problem. Then we could use the pure IGL to solve the problem. What is the pure IGL? Pure IGL was written to be used as a testing framework replacing the Lula FB test web. However, the modules are written in a way that could be used as standalone utilities to query and uh, evaluation APIs and verbs from the application framework bundle services in Azure. Now let's see the features of PYJ. It supports integrated tests. It has a debug mode. mode. Provide selecting test item. It supports remote test. The test script language is Python. If you want to know other details, please see this URL about, about the PYGL menu. In IGL, Pure idea is as the rule of application. Look at this picture. In its framework, it has tests and services. Look at this. In tests, we have a test my service dot py file. In service, we have my service dot py file. And notice that there is another py test dot ini file here. You could find the existed py agile source code in the following repository. Okay. Let's see the calling relationship of them. First, PYAGL access AGL services by WebSocket. It's important. Then, in PYAGL, test my service dot file provides test cases. Take test subscript as an example and my service.py file provides subscript method to access verbs of Azure service my service notice that Azure service my service the method subscript name is this method in subscript this method is subscript too this is my uh, this is PYGR's service this is Azure service be careful now let's write these files. 
step one, you should create service of PY job, which named myservice.py on the services, services directory. At the beginning, you should import some basic packages like this. Then you should define my service class as a, a py service. This part is my service classes class. In this class, you should define the methods of accessing agile service. There are two methods here, subscript and get time. Subscribe and the unsubscribe message are special because all the Azure service have subscribe and unsubscribe verbs. You can use its parent class subscribe and unsubscribe methods, which is defined in the base.py file, like this subscribe Step second, you should create a test set of PYGL, which is named test my test service dot py on the test directory. At the beginning, you should import some basic packages too like this part and import the py your service named my service this line okay then you should assign marks for this test set it is it is for all the test cases in this file, like this line. Of course, you could set a mark for one case. Then you should in it to, uh, the object of PYG or service. This part is in it. At the last, you could write your test cases one by one, like this. This is one test case whose name begins with test on the line. Okay. Step third, you should add your new mark into py.test.ini file like this. This is the mark name. This is, is the description about the mark. But now, we have prepared the test set. So, how do you run it? You should prepare environment before run test, such as compare your as your service for your board. Compare details can be found from this menu. Then install your service, your agile service in your board and start it. This is the command. Then you should select the way to run test. There are two ways to run test, look and remote. In the look way, you must log in board first. Then you could run a single test case by this command, PYG and uh, your te test uh, set file and uh, test case name. It's a result.
you could you could run a single test set by this command py draw and uh, your test set file this is the test result you also could run the test with custom mark when you set the m parameter like this this command py draw and m and mark name this is the result you could run all test sets without any parameter, like this, just the PY job. It's a, a part of the result. How about a remote way? In remote way, you could test the board from one PC. But you only run test sets for one board on one time. For example, first time you can run test on Arcajin 3. And the second time you can run test on this board or other board. Before run test set, you must export the ADL target RP environment variable. You should add pass for PY draw. Look, run a single test case. It's the PY draw command, PY draw test set file, and test case name. This is the result. It's run a single test set, PYGR, and uh, PYGR set file. Test set file, it's a result. Run the test set with custom mark, it's a PYGR, M parameter, mark name, and PYGR directory. It's necessary. It's a result. If you want to run all the test set, you should use PYGR and set PYGR directory. It's a result. Okay. If your team have many developers, one PYGR environment may be is not uh, enough. This is our team's solution. We use Docker containers to support multi py job environments. Uh, multi PC. In multi PC, uh, you can have multi Docker containers. So you have multi PYGL environment. All the PYGL environment can access or test uh, boards by test net. Finally, when we have the result, how to debug it? You could view the test result according to the test log, like this. This is a test log. There is a, a F. F means failed, case failed. Case is failed. And doc, dot, dot means case passed. If you want to know the test case name, you could add V parameter to execute the test set. Then you can view more details from log. It's an example. We can see the uh, test set file name and the test case name.
when there is fair case, hot analyzes and low. Refer to the coding relationship of PYG. There are three types of error. For the test my service dot py, error may be from test set. For my service dot py file, error may be from py agile service. For agile service my service, error may be from agile services. Okay. Example. Error from test set. In test set, there are two error examples. One is assertion condition error. Look at this. This look at this log details. It's easily we know. The assertion condition has problem. Another is parameter error. Look at this log. It's easy to know parameter is error. So it's the error from the test set. Let's see another case. At point one, this part, the assertion function is correct, right? At point two, according to the log, it's determined that the error is related to the parameter because our parameter is event. At point three, this part, the event parameter is correct. By now, we can confirm that it is not a test case error. So we check the PYGL service file. In PYGL mass service dot py file, we found that uh, there is a parameter error like this. So it is an error from PYG service. Let's see the third case. According to the point one, it's okay. There is no problem. And uh, according to point two, it's uh, determined that the error is related to the parameter event. According to the point three, the parameter is correct. So uh, confirm that it is not a test case error. Then we check the PYG service file. See this book? This part of the source code, the event parameter is correct too. So it is um, not uh, the AGR service error. Then we check the code about AGR service. In AGR service, my service dot c file file um, in subscript method. Look at this look at this part about check uh, code about this code. The logic has error. File error. So it is uh, error from Azure service. That's all the debug method. Hope the above contents can be helpful to your work. That's all. Thank you.